Today we celebrate and are reminded of the spirit of newness. Potential. And in order to go into newness, we have to inevitably go into the unknown. And we have a tendency, I believe, as humans to avoid going into the unknown because it's also uncomfortable. The known is comfortable. And yet, we can't bring forth newness into our experience if we're always in the known. And the images that we hold within our mind are created based off of the known out of our memory, out of our, just our response to the present moment, circumstances, the experiences that we have, which we all know are temporary and are fleeting and are constantly changing and are a result of all of our past creative efforts, whether we realize them consciously, we're creating intentionally or not. We're still creating all the time. The goal, my goal, I believe it's a universal goal, is to come into the place where we are intentionally creating out of the new, from the space of the unknown, making the unknown known through our living. And that requires a couple things. One, going into the unknown. And we have to do that through stillness. We have to do that by quieting the body, quieting the mind, letting all the busyness of thoughts, of reflections upon our past, of unconscious imaginations into the future, quiet down into that still void space of where we connect with spirit. That increases our power. Because otherwise, we seem to continue to create the same type of experiences over time through life. And why is that? It's because they're subconsciously programmed, they're habitual functions, and they have power. They have power because they continue to manifest. We, we run through these patterns from our personality. And it takes a greater power than that in order to change and bring forth something new. And that greater power comes from God, from spirit, from de- deity. And we access that by going into that still space, by going into the uncomfortable unknown. And then we use our mind to imagine. Our mind is our creative playhouse. We live in the mind of God. And so as we imagine into the newness, into the future, into what's possible through the imagination, because the present is simply looking at what is, and otherwise our memory is just living out of the past, bringing up replays that we unconsciously create our future from. We have to have a vision of the future. That calls it forth as a creator being. And if we don't, then we're just operating out of our reflections that are happening in the moment based off our past creative intentions, conscious or unconscious, and a familiar past which inevitably only leads to a predictable future. And we're here to celebrate new, not recycling of the same experiences from the same seeds into different versions of the same type of experiences we've always known. Evolution, ascension, rising up, God making all things new through us because of our connection to God and our willingness to activate our own creative potential into vision of the future through our imagination and living from that. 
so that we are holding a vibrational space around us that is in a resonant frequency with that potential future reality. And then we begin to draw that to us without being in a space of reaction to what is or in a replaying of what was or in a space of limitation of the way that we've always thought things are, other people are, and will inevitably continue to be. May we celebrate the new and bring that forth. I call us to have great vision for what's possible and to live out of that as we move into this new year. Yes, may the new year bring blessings, but even more, may you bring blessings into the new year as you use your likeness of God, your creative potential to put forth an image which ideally is inspired by God anyway and is nothing but the manifestation of more love, more life, more truth in all of our lives.